The Autocore System model UHT Space Saver is an under-counter dish machine designed for commercial kitchen applications. It can operate as a high or low temperature sanitizing dish machine. The UHT is unique in that it uses clean water for each wash unlike other high temp machines which reuse the soiled wash water for several cycles. This is accomplished by draining the wash water after every wash and filling with fresh water for the rinse cycle which gives unmatched results. On a daily basis, check the detergent and rinse aid containers to verify adequate supply is available. Replace detergent and rinse aid supply containers as needed. Wear safety glasses when replacing the chemical supply containers. If the machine is operating with chemical sanitizer, this will need to be verified as well. Ensure that both the pan and pump strainer screens are installed and that the wash tank is free of other material. Turn the machine on. Fill the dish machine with water by holding down the fill button until the water level reaches the center height of the spray base. Prepare items to be washed by scraping and pre-rinsing to remove any food, scraps, and large debris from wear. Load the dish rack with items to be washed. For plates, make sure that the soiled side is facing up, and for cups, pitchers, glasses, or bowls, make sure that the soiled side is facing down. Slide the dish rack into the machine and close the wash door securely. Press the start button. The UHT dishwasher is equipped with the temp watch system to ensure the appropriate temperatures are reached every cycle. The NSF data plate lists the operating parameters for both chemical sanitizing and high temperature sanitizing. The temp watch system verifies the temperatures before entering the drain and flush portion of the cycle, thereby ensuring the proper operation of the sanitizing rinse. If the rinse temperature or wash temperature falls below the proper sanitizing temperature set points, the temp watch system will compensate by extending the wash cycle to allow the water to be reheated to the correct temperature. The operating temperatures can also be manually verified with the temperature gauges mounted inside the control door. To manually check the operating temperatures, press the start button. Observe the temperatures for the wash tank and final rinse at the end of the wash cycle just before the machine enters the drain portion of the cycle. When the machine is operating as a high temperature sanitizer, the wash tank temperature will reach a minimum of 150 degrees Fahrenheit and the final rinse temperature will reach a minimum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit before draining. When the machine is operating with a chemical sanitizer, 120 degrees Fahrenheit is the minimum temperature for both washing and rinsing. Once the unit has stopped running, the dishes are now clean and sanitized. Wash hands thoroughly prior to handling clean wear. For chemical sanitizing operation, the chemical sanitizer concentration should be checked daily with a test strip. Pull the dish rack out of the machine, but let it sit on the door to allow wear to cool and dry. Remove the wear from the dish rack and return to appropriate storage areas or workstations for future use. Slide the empty dish rack into the dish machine and close the wash door. At a minimum of once at the end of each meal period, the strainers should be cleaned. To remove the strainers for cleaning, first make sure the unit is on. Press the drain button until all the water is removed from the pan. Then turn the machine off and allow it to cool as needed. Remove the pan strainer. Clean and discard the debris. Check to make sure no scraps were left in the pan. Rinse off the strainer. Remove pump strainer round screen and discard debris. Rinse off the strainer. Replace the pump strainer round screen back into the sump of the pan. Insert the pan strainer back over the top of the sump. Inspect the spray arms to make sure that debris has not clogged the jets. If any jets are clogged, remove the spray arm. Using a toothpick or other probe, 
push the debris down into the spray arm. Remove the end cap on the spray arm. Turn the open end of the spray arm down. If the debris does not come out, tap the spray arm on your hand until the debris is out. Replace the end cap and reinstall the spray arm. If you are planning to use the dish machine within a short period of time, turn the machine back on and refill with water to the appropriate level. Otherwise, leave the machine powered off and the wash tank empty. Clean the interior and exterior of the dish machine with a cloth.